Now, another thing that happens as distance increases is the color changes. And how color changes has a very specific rule. We start with the color in the foreground. The color in the foreground is the purest of all the colors. Whatever color it is, it's the purest as it's in the foreground. So if you have a color in your hand, that color is going to be purer than the same color in the hand of somebody standing on the other side of the room. So here, our color chart is helpful in determining how we understand this piece of color. So, the what happens to color is that as distance is increased, its complement is added to it. Here, on the color wheel, green is opposite red. These are complementary colors. Any color opposite each other, any colors opposite each other on the color wheel are considered complementary colors. So violet is opposite yellow, those are complements. Orange and blue are complements. Blue, green, and red, orange are complements. Anytime we use any of these colors, the purest color will be in the foreground, and that same color will change by the addition of its complement as distance is increased. Another thing that happens with distance is that we get a little bit of the atmosphere. So if we have a, an atmosphere of enough quantity to see a color in it, uh, that will be added to the colors in the distance also. So those are the two elements in creating color and distances, atmosphere and the complement of the color itself.